A YouTuber named Leviathan has an old barn in the woods where scary noises have been coming from late at night. Many sleepless nights later, he works up the courage to take a friend with him to investigate the strange sounds coming from the haunted barn in the woods. When he goes inside, he finds that the barn is not haunted like he thought. It's something way worse than that. Would someone tell me what this is, writes Leviathan. It's an unknown creature sighting to him, but I've seen enough scary videos to immediately guess what it is. The rake. He lets the scary creature have the barn and doesn't go outside for two months until one night he hears it making scary noises in the woods, much closer this time, as in right by his house. Against his better judgement, he takes an old busted flashlight outside for a final creature sighting he'll never forget. Crouched behind a tree making hideous hissing clicking sounds is the rake, the same creature he caught on camera in the barn. He keeps a respectable distance but it's not far enough. Who knows how fast this thing can run, especially on all fours. Luckily for him it hangs back in the forest and lets him run home. Both of these videos were taken in 2020 and seems to be part of a new wave of rake sightings from all over the world. High quality videos of the rake, like this one, are cropping up all over YouTube and they are not grainy at all. Hopefully this new rash of creature sightings is a video editing trend and not an indication that mysterious creatures are creeping out of the woods. Creepy, right? Dennis from Dark Life captures what can only be a demon in this abandoned house. After his lantern mysteriously shuts off, Dennis scrambles in the darkness. Finally, he gets it turned back on. He thinks the poltergeist is campaigning against him, so what next? The demon is in the adjacent room. He leaves for a moment and when he returns, everything is on. Is the demon playing tricks on him? Or is he standing there watching him? I can feel the demon's presence in this one, and I can't get that sound out of my head. A YouTuber named Alex Hayes and his friends find a cool looking stone perch overlooking the beach below. The good weather has them in high spirits and it isn't long before they are playing around near the ledge. Alex wants to impress everyone with a headstand, but it doesn't exactly work out as planned. Holy sh- oh. Don't do that to me, Al oh my goodness. Holy sh- oh. Pause here and you'll see how close Alex was to tumbling over. He 
he barely catches himself with his right hand. And if his right leg went back any further, then he would have definitely lost his balance. A YouTuber named Vintango says his Xbox might be possessed by a ghost, and a bunch of people in the comments are backing him up. It's opening and closing at random like crazy, and then all of a sudden it stops like it's thinking about something. When it starts up again, one commenter says that it kind of sounds like the ghost is trying to make the Xbox say help me. This video is from 2009, so the console was already up to 8 years old and possibly breaking down. Spirits try to communicate with all sorts of other electronic devices, so I guess an old Xbox is as good as anything. What is that? That's scary. Is that lightning? What the f is this? One night in 2018, this intense blue light was seen flickering in the sky all across New York City. The light was so intense that you could see its reflection on the water, as if it were the middle of the day. To the left and right, the sky was still dark, but in the middle was a blazing blue event of massive proportions. The official explanation is a power generator failure caused by an arc of electricity to shoot up into the sky. But here's the thing, there was no blast, no fire, no one hurt. Firefighters didn't even examine inside of the building it allegedly happened in, according to news reports. And when you look up stories about the incident, a large number of the headlines seem to go out of their way. To specifically mention it was not aliens kind of makes you wonder. A YouTuber named Ziggy09 wasn't sure if the spirit world was real or not until he got a visit from one of them. So I bet you were focused on the figure outside the window that you didn't notice this curtain moving by itself while the opposite one stays as still as can be. Something must already be in the home. Ziggy turns on the lights to reveal an all-white figure wave its hand, the curtain closest to it fluttering all the while, followed by a weird humming noise. Ziggy claims to have seen nothing in the window at this time, but his eerie suspicions of being watched at night were confirmed upon reviewing this video. To further add to the mystery, his last update was over 7 years ago, so either he forgot about this channel, or whatever's in this video grew much bolder. Outside of their apartment, a husband and wife capture a strange reflection in the window that is too curious to ignore. They grab an infrared camera, and this mysterious unexplained video is what they've caught on tape. At the very beginning of this video, three seconds in to be precise, a full zoom does appear to have caught a possibly real ghost sighting on video in greater detail. You can discern a tuft of her white hair, the folds of her robe, her older looking face, and what direction she is facing. Theirs. As soon as they turn on the lights for a better look, the figure is gone. That was bizarre. Oh, oh. Same window. Same window, and there's nothing there now, no matter what I do. Bizarre. And when he switches the camera back into infrared mode, the mode he first detected the spirit with, it does not return. There's infrared. Right there on that curve. I know it. You know it, right on that side. It's back to normal. There's just nothing there. It's almost as if nothing was ever there to begin with, and yet the paranormal evidence caught on camera proves at one point there was. Maybe they were holding something up to the glass to make it reflect this image and took it away, though I don't know what that something would be. A YouTube channel called Proving Demons seeks to do just that with the help of a mystery box on eBay. Proving Demons and his assistant travel to a well-known haunted house in the area and hold the unboxed ceremony there. Three items in particular grab their attention, an antique bell, an old necklace, and a wooden box with a pentagram on top. Using an EVP box, 
They hold up each item one at a time and ask each spirit to say the name of the item they are possessing. Tell me if you hear the same thing they are claiming to hear during this part. There it was. Said necklace again, clear. They do the same thing with the antique bell and seem to get another positive response. Then they decide to ask the spirit for its name, but only receive an old woman's laugh in return. That sounded like an old lady's laugh. And when they try to do the same thing with the pentagram box, this is the single word reply. It certainly seems like whatever is haunting this house doesn't like what's in that box. Things are about to get creepy on this CCTV video taken from a restaurant somewhere in China. A man looks in the cooler and decides to help himself to something else. A while later, he takes a seat near a woman who's looking the other way. 26 seconds is when he looks over and then he goes for it, taking something in her jacket, probably a purse, and walking straight out the door. He's fumbling around for quite some time and likely has to undo a button or two to abscond with her belongings. If only she had turned around the other way, he would have been caught in person and not just on camera. For those of you who think this isn't a scary video, try getting stranded in another country with no passport, money, credit cards, or phone. That's a situation only for the brave if I've ever heard one. This graveyard in Michigan defies the laws of gravity and replaces them with the laws of the paranormal. There is a specific tree at the bottom of a hill that many locals believe is haunted. You can put your car into neutral at the top of the hill and the car will roll down as normal. Here's a quick demonstration. And now as you can see, with my foot off the pedal and the car in neutral, we're rolling downhill. That is what you would expect. But when you pull up to the cursed tree and put your car in neutral, this is what will happen each and every time. We're rolling backwards up the hill. My, my feet, yes, my feet are off the pedal. Car is still in neutral. A strange force appears to be causing this man's car to roll backwards and climb a semi steep inclination. Not only that, but I think I hear a strange voice in the video too. Listen to this and tell me if you hear someone say something that sounds like the name Sarah. This deep web video features a disembodied head in a skeleton mask hovering over a single candle. He speaks in Spanish and uses a voice changer, but his tone makes it clear that he has only the worst intentions in mind. Unfortunately, other than the general creepy atmosphere of this video, I have no idea what is being said here. Listen to what he says and help me translate if you can. Something about this makes me think that he is either making a confession or telling us about future plans. Let me know if I am right about this hunch and if you think this video is real. While entering a deep dark cave, these brave souls nearly left their skeletons behind. Good gravy, what is that? You can see the creature momentarily as they enter. But for some reason, this encounter doesn't send them running for the hills. And then, not long after, this happens. That hissing is somehow more terrifying than a deafening roar. 
and the figure's features are equally horrifying. The fact that they didn't leave on the first sighting of the creature makes me think this is fake, but as we only caught a glimpse on camera, maybe they just didn't see him in the darkness. If it is acted, then it's an incredible fake. You know it's going to be a good video when the license plate has been covered up. And check out the dual exhaust. Those pipes look like the perfect place for some snakes to hide. Keep your eyes on them because you're about to see something crazy. Okay, so that was a bit of misdirection, but you have to admit you did see something crazy, and I bet you didn't guess getting run over was how this video ends, and neither did the poor person recording. This must have been at a car rally based on the crowd. I guess the driver was so excited being the center of attention that he didn't check his mirrors before flying into reverse. I really hope they are alright, but I don't see how that's possible, considering how fast this souped up SUV was moving. A man is enjoying the park in Salford, England, when this unsightly tree gives him pause. Everything looks completely normal from this angle, but then when you get just a bit closer, a grinning symmetrical face appears. This tree does face playground equipment, which provides somewhat of an explanation as to how this all started. I'm guessing some kids must have stripped some loose bark off out of curiosity, which is natural enough, but this gruesome one-eyed expression that settled in its place is anything but. TikToker Google the Curious is wondering what they found at these precise coordinates. The camera zooms in upon a snowscape in Antarctica. As it zeroes in, you can see multiple buildings, some equidistant from each other. They kind of look like stitches in the earth from so far away. What are these mysterious buildings? My first guess would be research stations, but why so many? And why arranged in this strange pattern? TikTokers have other ideas. I'm going to stick with research stations on this one, but they definitely look creepy from this vantage point. What's the creepiest thing that you've found on an urban exploration? I'm betting it's not creepier than what explore abandoned places with tattoo Tony Alton found in St. Louis. The YouTuber published this in February of 2017 writing, We found part of a spinal column in the basement of this creepy abandoned house. The YouTuber goes on to say that the entire street is abandoned. No big surprise if it's scary and dangerous. Tattoo Tony says the houses here were built sometime between 1910 and 1916. As he enters the first building, you can see that it's completely tattered and dilapidated. The wallpaper is flaking from the walls. The ground is absolutely covered in debris and filth. There's still furniture left over in some of the upstairs rooms. It looks as though whoever lived in these homes just up and left one day, leaving everything behind. As he walks through the building, you can hear wind whipping through the place. So it's understandable why the ceilings and all the walls are flaking. But it's when Tony heads into the basement that things get really chilling. Here, he comes across part of a spinal column. Some in the comments debate whether it was from an animal or a human. Whatever the species, Tony wrote, it was a little spooky. Urban exploration can have its risks. The question is now, what is the story behind the spinal column? An invisible force has taken this man by the scruff of his neck, published in December of 2019. At the beginning of the video, the cameraman and another man off screen are yelling at each other. <laughs>
At a distance, a short figure in white appears to be standing in a dark doorway. Its features are indistinguishable. The two continue yelling at each other until the cameraman turns around and starts running away from the figure in the doorway. As he does, the friend who was yelling is captured on camera, holding a flashlight. But suddenly, he is thrown to the ground, and as if a mysterious invisible force is acting upon him, the man is dragged away. The cameraman runs toward him to help, and it appears as if he is thrown to the ground too. <laughs> Mayhem ensues as they both try to fight it off. They finally manage to break away, and they start hurrying off, but the cameraman doesn't get far. He is thrown to the ground and dragged again through the ice and snow. He struggles with the force before being pulled, this time into a room. He manages to escape and run away, and when he turns to look back, there's a small figure in the doorway again. What is this force? Where was it taking him? He'd better leave now, or it might just get him this time. YouTube team The Haunted Side Paranormal Investigations is spending the night at this place at Harmon Road. I can't say exactly what went on in this building, but let's just say men would pay to be with the women who worked there. Before long, one of their REM pods goes off. Oh, yeah, so it's been a minute. Did you hear that? There's a REM pod. Did you hear it? I heard a thump. No, 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 that was me walking on this, but I heard the REM pod go off. They continue their search and meet an unwanted guest. Could you? Whoa. No, 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 no. Did you see that, dude? I did. I was a, oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> it's a bat. As they're trying to communicate through paranormal devices, they hear a sound in the building. Look at that, look at that. Is that you? I'm not close enough. No. And it'd still be going off if that yeah. was me. A moment later, a bang is heard. But it's not necessarily that the words are making sense. Heard. I heard that, bro. Did you hear that? And then another. <gasps> I know you heard that, bro. In another hallway, they hear what sounds like talking. I heard some something. The spirit seems to want them to stay. Do you want us to stay? Whoa. Did you hear that? Really I swear to God, it sounded like something, something came right, like walked up. When they knock, the spirit knocks back. Can you make a noise like this? <gasps> Did you hear that? It was like almost immediate, yes. bro. It was like, gung gung. And then they hear this unnerving moan. <laughs> oh, what the? I heard a before that. Did you hear the breath before that? I know you heard that, dude. It was like, <sighs> In another room, one of their paranormal devices goes off. Can you step away? See, that wouldn't. They keep hearing these mysterious noises. What the? I heard a whistle, and yeah. then I heard something in there go like. Kum. That's exactly what I heard, was the whistle part. And their devices continue to be triggered. Also got the. Ooh. Okay. Also got the SLS camera. Or sorry, the... I think there are too many creepy, unexplained noises in this building to suggest anything but paranormal activity. I also propose that this channel consider renaming this video to... Did you hear that, bro? Did you hear that, bro? That was loud. In the moment, you might not catch some unexpected apparition appearing around you. It's only when you play that moment back that you find it. Published by William Villas in September of 2013, he writes in Malé, This video was filmed on August 3rd, 2013 when we were waiting for the troops to have a video clip that was still unavailable. The video shows a group of men sitting and talking in the darkness. 
They appear to be sitting in a stairwell. As they laugh, completely oblivious to what's going on around them, you see a girl dressed in white with long black hair and shoulders hunched forward pass by slowly at the top of the stairway. The men must not have noticed in the moment as they continue on as usual, but they sure must have gotten the scare of their lives when they watch this clip back later on, only to make this mysterious and unexpected discovery. Once you see the apparition, you watch it again, over and over, because you can't look away from it. While on duty at a hospital one night, a security guard noticed something alarming on CCTV footage at around 11 p.m. Let's take a look. The mysterious ball of fire is later seen returning from the other end of the hall. The security officer notes that senior officers said this phenomenon is unexplained but not uncommon. Many attest to having seen a child spirit, as well as the apparition of a young woman, wandering the grounds of this place. Is this one of their souls? I'd like to believe it is, but we can't rule out your run-of-the-mill bug anomaly either. Weigh in with your opinion in the comments. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.